300 more condominiums are coming to the Rainy Street neighborhood in downtown Austin. The developer of 44 East Avenue officially broke ground today. That area has seen a lot of development in recent years. KXAN's Eugene Show reports the city might test closing Rainy Street to traffic just like 6th Street on certain nights. By 2022, this building will be replaced with a high rise. It's 49 stories. It has over 300 residences. It's literally located on the park and the lake and the trail. Intracorp had the demolition party Tuesday. They actually started selling the units for 44 East staff last month and already. 30% pre-sold. Brad Stein says that shows just how big the demand is. But for people who live here, that's worrisome. We're not against development in Rainy. We're, what we're against is irresponsible development. Michael Abelson is with the Rainy Neighbors Association. He showed us this map. He says purple is existing development and orange under construction or planned. Our concern is that what's happening is that there is this tremendous explosion and there is very little, if anything, on infrastructure. There's actually nothing on infrastructure. The city is still in the process of doing its Rainy Street Mobility Study, looking at how many people drive here. The Transportation Department told us they'll share preliminary results next week. Abelson says what the neighbors don't want is shutting down Rainy. To us, it's going to be like every weekend is going to be like South by Southwest when they close everything down here. He says they've met many times to ask for sidewalk and other improvements instead, but he worries they'll not be heard. Eugen Cho, KXAN News. Transportation Department says it has been working with Austin Police on times and dates for a pilot program on Rainy. City Council asked transportation officials to look at the closures on 6th Street as an example for what could happen on Rainy. Well, the last single family home on Rainy Street was purchased in August. 71 Rainy Street now belongs to Bob Woody. And Bob owns multiple bars on East 6th Street. Back in June, we reported that the home built in 1910 was selling for $2.6 million. That's much higher than its appraised value of just over $1 million.